I'm the world's largest men's physique competitor. This is 100% right up the gut what Matt Morgan is every day. This is what I eat every morning. So this I usually drink between uh, 14 and 16 ounces of, egg, of liquid egg whites. I'll weigh this out. I have to have exactly 300 grams measured on a scale of jasmine rice every morning. I have a coach, uh, his name is AJ Sims of uh, Sim Solutions. He helps me with my diet and my off season, even my workout routine. So what I'm doing is I'll take in, you know, seven, eight ounces of this every three hours, the ground turkey, and I'll take in, uh, right now in my off season, 300 to 320 uh, measured on the scale grams. There's a difference. I'm not saying 320 actual grams of complex carbs. I'm saying 320 grams on the scale measure in weight, jasmine rice. I retired from wrestling, like for good, for good, um, when Jackson was born. When a kid's born, you don't know they have autism. You have to wait until they are about three years old, generally, to get the proper diagnosis that they're autistic or not. He was diagnosed moderate to severe on the ASD spectrum, and he is uh, nonverbal autistic. After my son Jackson was born, um, tried to stay retired for, for a few months there, but um, I felt like I should be doing something, though, contributing somehow. For the first time, I don't have this competition itch to scratch. I wanted to find something that I could do with this, so sales. Sales is competitive as hell. I work for a company, it's based out of Toronto, Canada, called Venus Concept, and uh, they sell aesthetic laser equipment. Basically, we have a whole bunch of different devices that, that work on skin tightening, uh, uh, body contouring. We're going to go see a, a very, very uh, famous chiropractor locally that works on a ton of different famous athletes. When you're ready to launch a device, when, you, when you're getting it FDA uh, cleared, you have to do a whole host of research on it first. Again, thank you for filling this out. Next part of the process will be, uh, you know, the research aspect of it. A lot of our clientele are bodybuilders, everyone from the, the weekend warrior to the professional bodybuilder to the professional wrestlers. Um, we do uh, other athletes, pro athletes, golfers, football players, baseball players, uh, you name it. We, we've, we've had it or have it. Thank you, Doc. Thanks for all your time, as always. Very appreciated. So two times a year, I'll compete in classic physique or men's physique. I'm the world's largest men's physique competitor. getting ready for uh, my uh, Longwood City Commission meeting. Um, those of you watching that don't know, um, I was elected uh, Longwood City Commissioner uh, in District 4 uh, in November. Crappy thing about all my injuries over the years, um, my two bicep tears, carrying this pec twice, is like my range of motion over my head is very limited. Like earlier on, when I went to go hit a double bicep pose with you after I changed chest, I couldn't even do it because I was so tightened still from my, my chest workout, right? So like even this, putting a tie on, as crazy as it sounds, like I can't get that button, I can't get that button, and I can't get this button for sure. So right now, we're gonna um, measure out eight ounces because it's about one, it weighs about one ounce, the, the, the Tupperware by itself. Now, for this purposes, I'm just putting this back in the refrigerator, but normally, if we were on the road traveling uh, with my job, I would put this like in my refrigerator bag that I have in my, in my truck that has a bunch of frozen ice bags and things like that to keep it fresh. You're in the ring wrestling every night. There is nothing close to wrestling a match as far as cardio goes. 
but it's the cardio from the in-ring that helped me the most. This was up on Ronald Reagan uh, Highway here in Longwood. It's our busiest street we have in the city. And this was like right in between like fallen police officers he's commem commemorated over the years and people like that. I was really honored by that. So um, very, very cool piece that he did for me. This was for my campaign where he would stand there again on the busiest intersection of Longwood, basically doing this. I had a very grassroots campaign that I'm very proud of. The first and third Mondays of every month at 6 p.m., we go to City Hall at Commission Chambers and there's five commissioners, including the mayor. Basically, our job is to interpret law. I'm not motivated by, hmm, what's gonna get me elected again? And the reason I ran was to get it cleaned up and do the things we need to do right now for my son Jackson, for all these other people's children that are coming up down the pipe, that one day I want them to be able to live here, not use this place and then move somewhere else.